What's up guys, it's Kaz here and I will be showing you how to use my outro lighting script. So the first thing we're gonna do is to add the shadow layer. To add the shadow layer, you go to the map here on map properties and you will add a node tag here. But first, let's just run this, pro this project and you see that there is no shadow layer. So we are gonna add it. Go to map properties and then you insert a tag containing the shadow layer's opacity. So we will call opacity, let's say 100 feet. Hit OK and then the shadow layer must be visible now. And it is. After we added the shadow layer, we must add lights. So in order to add a light, you just create some event. Make sure to add a nice graphic to it. And just add a comment containing light. And then the light's name, we will call, there's, there's, a, sim, uh, there's a few lights pre, uh, defined on the writing. And one of them is torch. So we, we just put light torch inside the brackets, hit OK, OK, and then run the game. You will see that there is a light on. So we, we, as this light don't move, doesn't move, we must add another tag in order to save performance so we must mark this light as static static lights uh, don't move and then by marking them as static you are saving performance for your game so <laughs> you may create some lights that move too we may create some character with a light simple Hit OK. Uh, let's say random movement. Hit OK. And run the project. There, there is a character with a light. But uh, there isn't any shadow for now. So we must create the shadows. In order to create the shadows, you must go to the regions layer and you must mark the floor's height uh, of the, the walls. So we will mark these with height of 2 and this 2. Uh, the floor we doesn't need to do anything about it. So since it, its height is zero, so after doing that, you will run the game, and bam, the shadows are here. 